What is the first this is Shady Tech and today in front of me I have Xiaomi Mi Watch in its glorious bluish color as you can see around the bus or so itself is with a blue tint all around it. So let's take a look uh, around the bus first. So you got a pretty huge uh, wooden here Mi Watch and even say 32 grams and blood oxygen and heart rate monitor which is the special features on this watch itself and also the other descriptions such as a long battery life 110 more than 110 exercise mode data tracking uh, water resistant 5 atm suitable for swimming and start of pause workout detections all right so uh, let's get on with the uh, unwrapping of the box So you open the box like so, just like you, just like you would open a box of a phone itself. And quickly you got noted with some manual description here in Russian and a bunch of other languages as usual. This is more like a warranty notice actually. Yep, a pretty huge long A4 size, kind of like an A4 size of paper for the warranty notice. So we are present with the uh, elegant watch itself here. I'm gonna take put the watch aside first and let's see what else you got in the box. Nothing there, and you got a couple of uh, boxes here on the left, and on the side. On the left, you got the usual charging dock with a two-pin uh, proprietary charging dock here, and it's uh, connected to USB port. Uh, about one meter long cable Nicely wrapped Okay, so uh, it fits on pretty well It won't fall off anything as you can see there Even when I'm moving around, it's not falling off Seems pretty secure Pretty good in size And you got a battle cord behind here To check on the warranty and stuff here Alright, uh, let's see what else we got in box. Okay, the um, usual manual guide in a bunch of languages and how to set it up. And that's pretty much, and that's pretty much it. That's all you got in the box. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then you got presented with the watch itself in bluish kind of. It's more like a navy bluish tone with a sense all around it, even with the watch strap itself. Alright, so uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's let me just turn it on first. All right, I just figured out how to open it. You have to press the uh, double. You have to press both the button on the top and bottom for you to turn on the uh, the watch. So let's just go to uh, English real fast. Let me just peel this off. Oh, even the sticker is kind of like blackish uh, color, which is interesting. Add me watch. Okay, so you have to connect it to the phone for the phone. But uh, I'll show you guys uh, around the watch first, shall we? So you got a 22 milliamp uh, strap here. You can interchange it easily with a on and off uh, pin over here. You can just put it down and t take it off and put other strap you like. Peel off the uh, barcode. On the side again, you presented with a double pin and a bunch of other sensors such as the uh, oxygen, the uh, heart rate monitor, and there's some like really fine details here on uh, all around your uh, watch here. Not sure if you can pick it up, so you can see that it's written. It's really small. I have to use uh, mad flying gas to look at it, maybe. But anyway, so that's it. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, I would say really elegant. There's not much going on, like a lot of uh, tachymeter. Some of the watches, smart watch has a bunch of uh, tachymeter around here, which is not my favorite. This is my favorite. Just like a blackish uh, tone to it, like really elegant. And it's not that heavy actually. Pretty lightweight and uh, just feels nice on the hand. Let me just uh, put it on and let you guys see how it looks like. Oh my wrist so i got a pretty small wrist i would say and you can see that there's a bunch of a uh, hole left about um six 
whole length you can put it on on the watch so this strap is for all sizes of hands for the wrist so uh, there's no problem if you have a pretty fatty hand wrist or skinny wrist like myself so um, it's not a problem let's just quickly uh, connect it to the phone now shall we all right so on the phone you have to download the apps called xiaomi wear and just click press it as you get and you can just go straight to a device here and you'll find me watch and allowed just click next all around and you will supposed to find the me watch now as you can see connecting just wait for it to connect you'll see that it's connecting now and just press pair all right so that's it that's really fast and really efficient start now done all right so uh yeah story connect for the first time without any problem just take about less than a minute to do so to connect to your phone all right so uh, let's see on the apps what it says now uh, button press power button to display press go up there's a bunch of uh, swipe left swipe right to treat to to go uh, update so uh, I got the updates right away why not I just added it right away so the update I got here is 1.1.42 what I got 800 works out more 12 hours clock uh, I think it's better for me to just download it straight away and I'll be right back after this download is complete all right and we're back after the update has finished and back into this uh, face wash again on the watch and also let's see let's see let's connect this watch first so it's connect right away so this is the uh, main interface of the watch apps let's see we got a pretty 3d style of graphic here showing the mail here and nickname device let's see watch face of course there's a bunch of uh, for local one there's only like four but then on online one there's a bunch of it like really a lot because Xiaomi keeps updating it every now and then so you won't be leaving out we uh, always have a new apps in store so uh, let's see but anyway for this purpose of this uh, video let's see just quickly how what's the other uh, interface is going on here for this one is a notification on on your watch you can change it into backgrounds or off in backgrounds also turn on apps in the Xiaomi way and so on and also you can make calls with this watch incoming calls it can only operate as a you know a answer or decline a call pressing it on the watch and that you have to use the phone or your earpiece to make the call and also use a guide for this one background activities background activities you can make it turn on the battery savers or turn off of course you can do it on the watch too but of course there's a chair on this one which is pretty convenient manage widgets there's a bunch of uh, widgets here uh, with updates uh, check updates again I suppose there's no update so uh, my watch is running on the latest version 1.1.42 as of this moment uh, I think that's pretty much it other than that there's a bunch of other states here on the status menu like uh, blood oxygen, uh, O2 max, standing stress, energy, heart rate sleep data and as so on let me see if there's any uh okay it's for the regions i say to uh, malaysia and for the apps for the apps uh, version is 2.3.1 as of this moment here and uh, that's pretty much it that's what you got for now and now let's move on to the watch itself so you got two buttons on the right side it's even written here home and sports sports you got a little bit of uh, uh, reddish reddish kind of tone to it all around here even the sports here like a uh, uh, reddish circle and all around the circle you can actually see there's a really thin uh, line of whitish line around the uh, watch 
and then the whole thing is pretty blackish in color alright so let's start with the uh, wash face so this is the default wash face you can see here is kind of orange orange-ish uh, tone to it pretty cool pretty vibrant I would say uh, we got the uh, the usual time dates uh, steps heart rate and the battery down below from starting swipe to on left you got um, more of the uh, steps here and then next you can you get the um, music where you can uh, control the music uh, play pause and uh, next previous and even the volume up via your phone <coughs> also you got the uh, oxygen o2 uh, saturation measurement here and then you got steps and weather and then sleep data also bunch of uh, bpm is pretty cool actually i put my thumb right in the back and it's uh, reading my the tip of my finger ah, pretty sensitive which is a good thing so yeah that's pretty much it from the uh, swipe left and right menu from up you will get the notifications uh, message and so from down below you got the other uh, notification bar which is like the kind of like a flashlight effect here and this is to turn to wake or not depends of your needs and this is the time this is a display on and off if you turn it on it will stay on for how many minutes uh, depends on how much you want to set it and this is for do not disturb small and this the settings let's see the settings uh, you get a watch uh, choice of course uh, there's just four at the moment i would say but of course you can download it by the apps as i show you just now brightness auto brightness um, now it's set to four uh, depends on your own preference do not disturb again raise to wake heart rate workout uh, activity reminder Password, Bluetooth reminder, display, vibration, 12 o'clock, uh, systems, language, about. Alright, that's pretty much it for the uh, settings menu. Okay, so uh, if you press uh, down below the sports, you get all the, uh, uh, the setups, the uh, settings, and also options for all the web cars available, which is outdoor running, walking, treadmill, trekking, trail running, outdoor cycling, indoor, freestyle pool, open water, elliptical, yoga, rowing machine, jump road, hiking, heat, triathlon, add sport event. Let's see what other sports you can add. So, we got a water sports, outdoor sports, training, dance, boxing, board sports, winter, recreational sports. Let's see if sports are in both sports. We got soccer, basketball, volleyball, baseball, software, American football, arcade, tennis, badminton, tennis, cricket, handball, and squash. It's not joking around. It literally has like more than 100 modes. Sepata crow. Wow. Now I'm, I'm, now I'm impressed. Even have a sepata crow. It's like a national, kind of like a national, international even. Uh, sports of Malaysia and all around Southeast Asia is pretty popular here. If you're not too familiar with it, you can check it out on YouTube. Say Park Takro. It's a pretty, I would say it, it's a pretty like intense sport for not the fainted heart because <laughs> it literally use all your bodies without any protections at all, and it's literally the floor, the ground without you know without the carpet or anything. You will check it out. It's pretty cool uh, sports. Well, anyway, so that's pretty much it for the sports mod and let's see for home if you press it It's kind of look like this which is a typical Xiaomi interface MIUI style I, I really like this uh, for my own personal reference because uh, if you swipe from top to bottom You don't have to swipe a lot So you just swipe once and go to all the way to the bottom But one thing about this uh, kind of icon is you have to figure out what it actually does because it's just showing a uh, you know icon with a uh, display without any words so for example just this uh, moody face if you are not like a savvy kind of person savvy tech kind of person you you're just guessing what kind of uh, icon it is until you press it it actually says stress so it's it's uh, I would say it's like a win or lose win 
in terms of uh, graphite, it's pretty cool. It's pretty, you know, vibrant and colorful and just looks like really modern. At the same time, you have to figure out if you're like a new person to wearing a you know, smartwatch, you have to figure out all this icon, why it does actually might not be your taste, might be, it depends on your own taste anyway. So, uh, the one thing about this pretty cool is uh, you can actually use this uh, okay, breathing start to control your breathing and so on. Alright, so actually that's uh, just my quick take on, let's see, less than a second for it to wake. So yeah, it is uh, as responsive as it can be. Nothing wrong with it, it's a really cool, really elegant, really to my taste and also navy blue, this is what I like. I'm also kind of fancy with the uh, white and black, but my personal taste is like navy blue, it's like really in between. Alright, so uh, there's just a quick unboxing and overview of my take on Xiaomi Mi Watch. I'll do more comparison with the uh, Honor Huawei Watch GT2, Honor Magic Watch 2, and also the real Mi Watch S. Stay tuned for the next video, and this is Shady Tech. See you soon.